box. You can use a step or anything that's available. You just need to have a little elevation under your foot for this one. Um, and you can see I'm even using a pretty shallow box just to give you an example of how low it can actually be to be effective. And we're going to be in two different positions. So one with the knee bent at a greater angle, the other is going to be a little bit further out. So we're just hitting different aspects of our hamstring, okay? Um, and we'll be holding these for about 20 second count, or at least working up to that if we can, maybe 10 seconds at first, that's okay, depending on how you feel with cramping. Um, and we're going to start off the, on the ground. We'll start with the in close. So my working leg's going to be towards you. Get about a 90 degree knee bend, as you can see on this working leg. Toes are up in the air, and I'm going to just drive my heel through the box, okay? I'm going to keep my chin slightly tucked just to keep my back from arching the wrong way. And I'm really focusing on squeezing through the glute and hamstring to keep that hip all the way through in position. And from here, we're just holding and breathing, okay? Just like that. And once you've done your time, you're just going to lower down. And we're going to go into the second position on the same leg so we build fatigue on it. So this time, I'm going to actually extend my leg a bit shallower to angle, as you can see. Especially when I get that opposite leg up, you can really see. So again, arms out to the side if you need. Drive that heel into the box, bringing the hip up, and then we're holding here. Okay? And we're doing the exact same thing, just holding for time. Again, 10 to 20 seconds, depending on how it feels at first. And then we're going to lower back down and swap to the other side.